Kai. I teach the Pangli Course Shiva classes here. Today's technique we're going to work on is from Shabandar. It's a style in itself and it's a technique. It's the first Jurus we do in Pangli Kor. It's traditionally in counter style and we're going to do it um, as a Jurus, which is like a form or kata. And I'll do it with Jonathan here. So we'll stand here. We step left. We go one, two. And we open. And we do Shabandar. I step in, Shabandar. Step. Step. And step. And draw. Okay, so it's also a counter defensive style for striking. So if we're here, he throws the punch, I come in here. If he pulls back, I follow. I take him down. In that same situation, I'm here, I go outside. If he tries to rush me with his shoulder, I help him follow. I take him down the other way. So it's really a counter style. Even if he punches and pulls his hand back really quickly, I come in, and that's my Shabanda. I'm taking space, and I'm making sure I control him. In slow motion, there's a slight rolling parry, and the push to hyperextend. This feeling. I can also turn into a strike like this, and hit, and then I slip through. Shabanda is really about controlling your opponent where you don't really have to damage them and destroy them right away, unless they escalate the feeling. Outside is better, because when he extends his hand, here I have less worry about his outside hand. So we can't do his inside, but I have to know that hand's there. So I compensate by setting something up. So Shabandar is more of a principle or concept than a literal only movement. Inside again, here, here. I turn. This is Shabandar, push pull. General feeling for push pull. One time in the slow, I come here and like I swing through. If I do Shabandar to his feet, it's that feeling. Thank you. Thank you.